Welcome, in front of me is a Essential B Heyu 60 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. And to get started, um, you can see right away the device here is locked. Uh, I can verify it right using the pattern, Google account, and you can also see the icon for locked right here. So to get started with the bypass, we're gonna go back to the first page, change the language to any kind of other language that uses a different keyboard. So just scroll all the way down and you can select from the bottom up to something like Greek or Turkish. Select whichever language you want and from there progress back to the locked page. Now from here you want to tap on the use Google account instead. And tap on a field. This will bring up a keyboard and you should be able to see on the keyboard a uh, globe icon. If you don't see that icon then you will need to go back to the language selection and choose some kind of other language. Uh, you do need that. So from there once you see it you can hold the icon. This will bring up uh, the keyboard languages that we can choose from. So right off the bat I will switch to QWERTY. Then hold it again and then go to language settings which is the text below that. And then add a keyboard which is the blue button at the bottom and select any kind of keyboard here that does not have an arrow next to it. As you can see there's a couple with, so completely disregard those and choose ones like this or this or whatever here. Doesn't really matter which one you choose, just the one without an arrow. And from here, tap on add button, which is the blue button. And there we go, we have added another keyboard. So from here, we're gonna go back to the first page once more, change the language back to our desired language. And let's get back to the same place we just were at. Now once again hold the globe icon, go to language settings and then add keyboard and this time around you're looking for a keyboard with an arrow. So scroll down till you see one, there is Albanian, first one for me, so that's what I'm going to choose. And then from here I'm going to tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback. And in search bar for help and feedback you want to type in two letters, M, O, and this will bring it up as I suggested. What we're looking for is use Morse code, select it. Tap on the video once and this will load it up and give you a three dot option on the video. And once you tap on it, you can then choose watch later, which opens up our web browser. So from here, accept and continue and no thanks. And then right at the top, you can tap on a field and navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. There we go. If you need a moment to write it down, pause the video. And from here, I'm going to scroll down to settings, tap on it. This will open up the actual settings on your device. And from here, I'm going to scroll down to... There we go, security, that's what we're looking for. And then you want to scroll down to screen pinning, enable it and then also enable the lock device when unpinning and this will allow you to set up a screen lock. Now, if you paid attention at the beginning, the device uh, was locked with a Google account and a pattern. So I'll choose something completely different just so it, it looks different. So I'm gonna go with a pin this time around and now I can set up my pin. So it can be whatever I want, four digits. I will set it up to be something fairly easy, one, two, three, four. Now, if you're doing the same thing, uh, I would recommend you to probably use the same kind of pen. It's just going to be easier to have the process when I'm inserting it. So once you confirm it, that's about it. Uh, we don't have to add a fingerprint. So 
after I've added the pattern, pin, password, whatever you chose, uh, hold the power key and select restart. So from here, let's unlock the device. Uh, as you can see, it tells us to put in a pin. So again, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. And right here, it tells us to verify, uh, but it doesn't tell us to verify a pin or a pattern, but a pin instead. So let's confirm our pin that we have set up. One, two, three, four. And we can now finish up the setup. Now I'll go to the setup fairly quickly, skipping everything that I can. Uh, that is because it is still recommended to, to, um, factory reset your device in order to remove whatever is left from the old account and while I'm doing that I'm gonna quickly explain what just happened so by setting up a pin we overrid the previous pattern so Android is such an amazing uh, operating system that it can only keep one lock screen at a time and anything above that just kind of gets substituted and because it was trying to remember the pattern if you put a pin, it just kind of overrides it. Uh, then that's what we can use then to basically verify the old account. So once you have access to the home screen, what you want to do is navigate into the settings. From here, scroll all the way down to system, reset, and then choose factory data reset, reset phone, put your pin in, and then select erase everything. Now this will begin the process of well, factory resetting your device and it will take a couple minutes, but once it's finished, you'll be then back in the setup screen with the device fully unlocked. So you can set it up however you want from that point. Uh, now I'm not gonna go through the reset of the device right here because it's just gonna take unnecessary amount of time and provide basically no additional value to you. So that being said, this is how you bypass uh, Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.